what do you look for in a somebody who you know got their license they're excited yeah my god i got my license listen nikki for a lot of these people i've seen it with my own eyes because I've, I've taught in this program for the last five six years this is like this has to this has to happen for them this real estate gig has to happen i mean this is their, yeah. their last hope and it does you know like you they have that fire inside that down deep it's just and, and it happens and um what do you look for when they're in front of you and you see it in their eyes that this has to happen for them and you want to support them but what do you look for as a team leader ceo from these agents yeah it's such a good question and it's not a one size fits all like i wish i could give you i i, I dig that yeah so what do you look what size does fit you know, a brokerage. Yeah, so we're a bit different okay. uh, here at KW Santa Monica. So traditionally in real estate, the model has been like, listen, if you can fog a mirror and you have a pulse, <laughs> like you can join our office, right? Um, so we, we don't run it like that um, because I believe that part of the reason that we are so successful here is because we really have a culture of productivity and of teamwork and of people who are hungry to learn and to grow and to be a part of something bigger. And so that's what I'm looking for. I want to know if someone is a team player, if someone has the, the entrepreneurial spirit and the drive to grow their own business. Because while we are the, I'm confident that we are the best support system that exists in the real estate world uh -huh. and the best education system, they also have to do the work. And so I'm looking for someone who's willing to do the work and who's willing to plug in and to show up and to and to be open to whatever their progress looks like in real estate. Let me let me let's imagine I'm a new, I'm a new agent. Let me let me just represent them for a minute. Yeah. And I, and I really want to work here and I think I could do this. And I'm, and I'm feeling what you want out of your company. And, you know, I just don't know what to ask. Oh, there's so many questions I wish I had known to ask at the beginning. Again, the hardest part about being new is that you don't know what you don't know. Right. And so if I had to recommend that someone ask something, first and foremost, I would ask a company, what kind of support is here for me as a new agent? Support, like, support. Yeah, what exactly does that look like? And be clear, and also give me examples of people who you've made successful from the time that they were brand new agents until... That's a good idea. Yeah. Why don't you so, give me uh, some yeah, names of people who... Because I can sit here and sell somebody I all day. Like, I can, I can list all of the reasons that our company company is great, but nothing, nothing is as valuable as real life proof. Like what I tell everybody who interviews with us is I'll, I'll explain to them what we do here and, and that we're great and we are. And then I say, and all that's great, but you need to make sure that this is the right environment for you. Come to a team meeting, come to a class, see that we are who we say we are. What makes the right environment? I think it's going to be different for everybody. Okay. Um, I know that this was the right environment for me because it, it was a big enough world that I could my success could grow and I wouldn't outgrow the company, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Kind of, yeah. Um, so, so I think it's different for everyone depending on how they want to build their business. But that's what's great. Like you, you have to find a space where they have the ability to teach you how to build your business in whatever vertical you're going to choose. So yeah. if you want to crush open houses, like we can teach you how to do that. You want to crush door knocking? Like we can teach you how to do that. You want to do cold calling or whatever that might look like for you. You want to do social networking? Like we can teach you how to do that. So specifically, it's number one, it's going to be support. Ask the, ask the brokerage what kind of support. Support is and number one. give me one. examples of names of who, you know, people have succeeded in here. Yeah, 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 for a new agent. All right, Nikki, so they're in front of you. Is there a bad question that they can ask? There's not a lot of bad questions at the beginning. If like there's not, to, oh, there's well, not a lot. If I was to ask you, Nikki, <laughs> Nikki, what's the commission split here? Is that starting off on the right foot? Yeah, I love that question because we're, again, we're very unique. So I get to answer it a little bit differently, probably than most companies, okay. but we're a bit unique in that we, everybody who comes in our organization is on the same plan. It's all above board. Everybody knows what everybody is at. It's the same commission split for everybody. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Meaning so, less stress for you. I mean, it is what it is. It, yeah, that's it is formula. what it is because we know it works. Uh -huh. And, and so that way you don't feel like the guy next to you has a better deal than you. And the person next to you guys has a better deal than you. And, and so it just creates an environment where again, everybody is on the same page, on the same team. No one's getting special treatment. Everybody uses the same bat, same glove, everything. Exactly. Just go out and play the game. Exactly. Got and it. then it's up to you how much you want to practice. Got it. Oh, I like that. Good. Anything else you can advise new agents when they're walking in there? They're probably going to be nervous as heck. Yeah. Right? It's going to be a whole new career. Again, this has to happen for them. They want to have the right support, the right, you know, everything that they should ask. Make sure they got everything on the table and then ask all the questions they, you know, had to ask for a successful career. Yeah. What do you think? So we actually give everybody who interviews with our organization a list of 10, 10 or 15 questions that they should ask the brokerage no that they way. go into. Oh yeah. Is it realistic 
for someone who comes in new to see the end of the, the rainbow if they wanted to go through all these channels of maybe one day be leadership and ownership and investing? Is it is it feasible for everybody to have an opportunity in these categories? Absolutely. Yeah. And I actually love when a new agent comes in and has clarity like that, because then I can show them the path. And you like about, I can and walk you someone back. Oh, yeah. The interview. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. How much time do you spend with these? interviews in I oh was, everyone's different but i would say i mean at least an hour per interview that's pretty neat yeah so it's not just you know bullet questions it's it's getting to know them and see if this is the right relationship yeah it's a true needs analysis because from from an integrity standpoint i want to make sure that we're the right fit for them and that they're the right fit for us. They're like, not just a dollar bill to you guys. No, not at all. And I want to make sure, like I said, that wherever they want to go with this career, that we can deliver on that. I I really credit this company to a lot of what I have today, like this this big, beautiful, amazing life that I've started to build and, and continue to build is a result of the opportunities that I've been given here. Mm -hmm. And so I want to make sure that I'm able to pass that on. And in order to do that, I need to know what they're interested in. Think energy is infectious? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think that as, as a new agent, especially, I remember sitting in that seat and I remember how tough it can, can be when you're working that hard and you don't necessarily see the results yet. And having a company, an, like a, a brokerage, a group, a coach, a team leader around you who has the energy that you can pull from on those days that are hard is invaluable.